Campus 8 is your local election headquarters, and we continue to break down the results of a brand new 5th District poll from Emerson College, News 8, and The Hill. It's widely viewed as one of the most competitive congressional races in the country. Our poll showing incumbent Democratic Congresswoman Johanna Hayes with a narrow lead now over her Republican challenger, George Logan. Joining us now live with more details, our News 8 political contributor, Mike Cerulli. And Mike, great to have you here. And what else are we learning in this poll? Yeah, good morning, Keith morning. and Laura. A lot to dig into on this poll. In addition to that neck and neck race for the 5th District, we are also getting a sense of how the race for U.S. Senate is shaping up. Our poll showing incumbent Democratic Senator Chris Murphy up by six points on his Republican challenger, Matthew Corey. Remember, that Senate race is a statewide race, and we're just getting a picture of what likely voters in the 5th District are feeling. Murphy, of course, a well-known incumbent who won his last race, also against Corey, by 20 points. We're seeing a narrowing in some of these otherwise very blue states. Uh, and this district being a swing district, you're going to see the most narrowing there. Murphy is in better shape in the district. I think I'm sure he's in better shape statewide if we were to do a statewide poll. Um, so we get, need to get used to the fact that you know we're going to be running on narrower margins. And in the presidential race, our poll shows 5th District voters almost evenly split between Trump and Harris. And that is notable because this is a district that President Biden won by more than 10 points. So to see a tied presidential race this time around really could have an impact on those races down the ballot. Wow, just curious, how do we conduct this kind of polling? Yeah, so Emerson College does it. They had a sample size for this poll of just over 700 voters. They actually text them over the phone and also conduct a panel uh, online with voters. So, And then they weight it to make sure that it's representative of the population. Yeah. Wow. So that race was tight two years ago, going to be tight this time around yeah, as well. Just about less than 1%, around 2,000 yeah. votes. So when they say every vote matters, wow. really <laughs> can't and, be understated and here. And we have a voter guide this year, too. That's right, we do. At online, WTH.com, you can check your voter registration. You can also check to see early voting locations. Early right. voting begins next week on the 21st. Check to see where your early vo voting location is in town. Mike's really great to have you here. Nice job. Great to be here. Thank yeah. you. All right. Yeah.